Hello everyone, GumbleFan15 here, and today I'm doing a quick work in progress video on the Master Grade Gundam Heavy Arms version EW. And today I'm just going to show you just a little bit of what, I, what I've gotten done so far. I've gotten his complete upper to torso done, just the, you know, the main part right here. And I'm going to be doing a complete custom paint job on him, as well as at the end doing some weathering. Um, it's probably going to take me a little while to get him completely done because I want to take my time on him and make him look really well. And I've been experimenting with different paints and techniques, so that's what I've gotten done so far. Um, I've changed uh, all of his white is going to be um, this kind of very lightish gray color. And his this part right here, the red, was originally a uh, dark blue, but I changed that to a dark red. And his, uh, all of his gray parts, I painted with this, uh, metallic black. Fortunately, though, once I put the, uh, dull coat on, it kind of took away the, uh, metallic effect a little bit, but it's still a little bit there. But I like how it's turning out. And his, uh, dark orangish colors that he has, I didn't like that, so I just changed it to this, uh, you know this kind of dark gold as well as uh, the yellow is going to be on these two pieces his uh, little piece on his crotch and his v-fin were yellow and I changed that to a, a different shade of gold so um, oh and also um, any of his uh, his weapons like you know his his gun and his uh, Vulcans here as well as on the inside I sprayed with uh, this um, aluminum color so I'll show you all that in just a second um, as far as the colors that I'm using uh, for to replace his white I got this uh, model masters flat gold gray which is what you see here uh, the black metallic that I'm using is just this regular uh, testers black metallic the gold that I used in place of the uh, dark orange is the Model Masters enamel gold, so came out really well. And for the uh, the other shade of gold, I'm using Tamiya gold leaf. That's that. And for his, um, if you can see over here, what I'm going to do on his missile pods on the side of his legs here, I wanted a different shade of gray, so I'm using this this dark uh, gunship gray, uh, Model Master gunship gray. And for the red, that I'm going to be using for that and for pretty much everywhere else on him, I've got this uh, Tester's Gloss Dark Red. But once I put the flat coat on it, not gloss anymore. And it came out a lot darker too. And uh, it came out darker because I used um, a gray primer. My first time using primer and I actually liked how it all came out. I tried using primer before and I don't know, maybe it was just my spray technique or whatever, but it just did not look good, but practiced on it, and it came out really, really well. I like how it made everything a lot darker, because how I'm going to make him look is really weathered, like he's been through the battle, and hopefully it'll come out looking real well. So, look at him real quick. Boom. Uh, I put his decals on him. Um, it comes with stickers and dry transfers. So, right here, that's a, a, a regular sticker. That's a dry transfer right there. As long as here on the sides. And the dry transfers are actually working better this time than they did on the last kit that I did. So hopefully it sticks like that. As far as detailing goes, um, not a whole lot of detailing for, you know, pan line opportunities so far. The only one that it is is right up here um, at the base of his neck, this little area. So did that. And just to show you real quick, looking up on the inside. Now, when you're opening these doors, you kind of have to do them in a certain way. You kind of have to push in and pull, because if you just try to open it like open it up, straight pulling, I'm afraid that the uh, piece right here, the plastic will bend and snap, and uh, I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna open these up real quick. Show you what I've done on his inside. There we go. All right. I really like how that turned out. 
There we go. You see I did a two-tone here. Right there is the metallic black, which is just almost looks like flat black now. And his guns in here are the aluminum. So I really like the contrast there, it makes it really pop out. So a lot more detail. Oh. I like it. I don't care what anyone else says. And you know, you open this little cockpit down here, opens up just that much, not too much, and you can kind of see a little Troa in there, but not too much. But it's still cool. So. Anything else? Uh, no, I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. There's going to be a link in the description for our Facebook group, Mississippi Gunnam and Gunpla. Make sure to check that out. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.